In this video, we'll be looking at arithmetic operations on functions. For addition and subtraction, the rules are f of x plus g of x is equal to f plus g of x, and f of x minus g of x is equal to f minus g of x. So if f of x is equal to x plus 2, and g of x is equal to x squared plus 3, we're asked to find f plus g of 6. We can use these rules and find f of 6 by substituting 6 into our f function in place of x. So that'll be 6 plus 2, or 8. We can also find g of 6 by substituting 6 into the g function. So that would be 6 squared plus 3. 6 squared is 36 plus 3 is 39. So then f plus g of 6 will equal f of 6 plus g of 6 or 47. For multiplication and division, f of x times g of x is equal to f times g of x, and f of x divided by g of x is equal to f divided by g of x. Remember that our denominator cannot equal 0, so g of x cannot equal 0. If f of x is equal to x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 3, find f times g of 6. So again, we can find f of 6 by substituting 6 into the f function. That's going to be 6 plus 2, or 8. We can find g of 6 by substituting 6 into the g function. So that's 6 squared plus 3. 36 plus 3 is 39. And so then we have f times g of 6 will equal 8 times 39, or 312. For f divided by g of 6, Again, we've found f of 6. We know that f of 6 is 8. And we know that g of 6 is 39. So f divided by g of 6 will equal 8 over 39. Now this fraction cannot be simplified any, so that is our product. 